guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you the goodies that I got on holiday. So um, we've just been to the beach for a week and um, here in the UK and we've kind of visited different craft and art shops, gift shops. Um, we went to um, some really lovely galleries in Holt, which is in Norfolk, and um, they had a massive art shop there. So I'm going to give you a tour of that in this video as well and uh, show you what I bought so um, here are the goodies so like I said we went to various different craft shops and um, I mostly got it from the big craft shop which I'll show you footage of but um, went to a really cute little knitting shop and picked up some new wool this is a really gorgeous um, multi colorway wool it's uh, by King Cole it's the sprite collection and the colour name is Corfu and um, it's like a variegated yarn and um, I'm going to make a really nice scarf with this so uh, that will make a really nice project and what else oh there's some really gorgeous gift shops I tried to resist getting too much I did get a little stag print which I think is downstairs but I also got these gorgeous cards for inspiration now I really love a soft palette lots of blending in my paintings and I found these um, gorgeous cards by this artist called Michael Sanders Sanders however you say it and um, he's got some really gorgeous work available so uh, these are the two from the winter collection and uh, they're just so gorgeous so um, I'm not sure if I'm going to hang them up or whether I'll just keep them um, in my inspiration folder. But I thought they were really, really lovely. And I also got, we went to, oh yes, that's right, we went to a gallery in Sheringham and um, they had some art supplies available and I'm always looking for the perfect pink to use in my paintings and I found this one which I haven't used before it's Cherry Blossom Pink by Deco Art it's just a crafter's acrylic and I thought that was a really gorgeous pink so I uh, picked that one up the main supplies that I got were from the big art supply shop um, at Holt I got two big pieces of foam board because I want to make a new marker case, a big one this time. Um, when I first started with markers I wasn't sure if I was going to really have many and whether it was going to be for me. So I just made some small ones but uh, my collection is growing so I'd like to have a nice big case to uh, display them in. So I got two sheets of that which are a really good price actually. And I also got, sandwiched between them, are two gorgeous sheets of Canson paper. And I got a sort of off-white, it's kind of like a very pale blue. And uh, this one I think was called Champagne, it's an off-white, kind of a beigey, beigey colour. So that was really, really good. So I've kept them sandwiched together so they don't get all bent up. I'm hoping to make my marker storage case in the next day or so and uh, in order to do that I needed a hot glue gun this time because last time I used um, super glue and some pins and it didn't really work that well so I decided to get a glue gun I used to have one years ago but uh, can't seem to find that anymore so I um, picked up this one from Amazon and I got all these glue sticks with it so uh, that was £13 so that was a real good deal there's uh, 24 glue sticks in here so that should keep me going for a while so that's for that the um, paper I'm going to use for my degree course we need uh, lots of sheets of uh, big paper so I thought that would be ideal and it's nice to work on different colours as well not just white so there was just so many gorgeous art supplies in that shop, I could have spent a fortune. But I refrained and I got just a few things. So, you know how I like Sea White sketchbooks? They're a bit similar to Moleskins, but they um, have thicker paper. So, um, so I got this one. Apparently it's got lined paper in it as well, so that would be handle, handy for um, taking notes and 
doing sketches so I've got this little size um, I have got bigger ones of these so it was nice to um, to have something a little smaller and also I've seen other artists using this and I really thought it was time I got one so I got the Winsor & Newton metallic bronze ink so I'm super excited to try that out I'm not sure what projects I'll use it for but I will definitely try to incorporate that somehow into my artwork it's like a it looks more gold to me than bronze isn't it gorgeous so I'm looking forward to trying that out so and the other thing that I got last of all is this I haven't tried this before it's a Lyra graphite um, stick crayon and um, I just thought that would be interesting. I'm probably likely to use that for my degree work. Um, so I thought that would be fun to play around with. It's only £1.40 so worth a go. So I'm excited that I've got all these different supplies to mess around with. So uh, look out for those in my other videos. But um, now on to the clips of the art supply store. I hope you enjoy it and I shall see you again in the next video.
personal to me, it's very close to my heart and I've had uh, a lot of experience with it, um, some good, some not so good, mostly not so good. So I wanted to share with you and kind of give you some encouragement. If you're just starting out and uh, you really want to do art as a hobby, say, and 